is up everyone, Knight here and welcome to a brand new live reaction and review and today we are reacting to Murder's a brand new EP titled Titan out now on Disciple Roundtable. Murder is back on Disciple with a brand new EP containing four tracks and I'm pretty damn excited. It is his last EP from, I believe, I want to say, I believe in, I do believe, 2018. So it's been a couple years now. So he's kind of taken a hiatus, worked on a few collabs here and there, which I've enjoyed for the most part, but back on his own solo project, Container four tracks. Murder socials and disciple roundtable are going to be in the description down below alongside my socials. I'm very active on Twitter and Instagram, and I post some exclusive content there. So if you want to follow me there and watch some sing uh, reactions and reviews to some singles, because I know a lot of you guys always ask me about those, I post those on my Instagram sometimes. So go drop me a follow. Sometimes on my Twitter as well. So follow me on both. So you never miss out on any content. Also, the link to join our Discord is in the description down below, and the link to listen to this EP. Pretty excited for this one, like I said. I haven't always been a fan of murders, just because, again, you guys know, with repetitive rhythm, I'm very up and down. There's some artists I really love, and some who aren't my favourite exactly, but... Repetitive Rhythm as a whole has grown on me a lot over the past year, so I've got quite high hopes for this EP. Murder is obviously such a big name in the scene, he's very well respected as well, so I'm just excited to get into this one, man. I have heard the teaser, don't really remember it. I remember there being like an upbeat tune, so I'm pretty excited for that one. Without further ado, we're going to get straight into it with the first track of the EP titled The Titan. That's a bit too loud. This is the title track of the EP. Sounding very eerie right now. I like the vibes in this one. Okay. Already greeted by a very ominous, freaky, spooky intro with a very cool beat. This build is so gassed. So far, I'm really involved. I love the atmosphere. I love this build. Excited for this drop. Oh, oh. First drop. Some of the sounds in it, they're so eerie and good. Like, they're really good. It's not boring. It definitely does keep you engaged. I really like this kind of squealy noise almost. The whole atmosphere of the track's really spooky as well. I love that. Let's see what the second drop's like. Like, that laugh. It's so spooky and I love the bridge here, man. <laughs> This bit of the drop, that small change up, all oh, that, that is sick. You know what? That surprised me. I like it more than I should be liking it because, again, it is that repetitive rhythm. Again, it is more that repetitive rhythm. So, let me just get that out of the way. We should probably get into it. But it's really nice, it's got some really nice sounds. I love the intro, I love the build especially. The drop, keeping that spooky vibe to the whole song. It's got a very cool, dark atmosphere and that's carried throughout the whole track. And I really, really like that. And then the change up on the drop, a very small change up, but it goes a long way. That's like extra boom. It's such a really nice sound. I mean, when people talk about murder, I, I'm not gonna lie and say I've heard so much of murder's old discography, cause I haven't. But when people talk about him, you can definitely tell like, he's well respected. And that song didn't disappoint. It's got some really, really nice sounds. Again, just because I'm not huge on repetitive rhythm, I would have liked a bit of a change up on the second end drop, on the second drop. But that's just me, even still, still a very nice track. I probably would add it to my repetitive rhythm playlist. Not to my main one, Personally, but still a solid track. Wish there was a bit more variation on the second drop, but some really solid sounds in that one. Let's go to the second track of the EP titled Morse Code. Oh. oh my god! Oh! I love this one! Oh. 
It's such a sick flow. Boom, 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 boom. I love that. Oh, that's like splatty noise. That's gas. Okay. Oh, it's still going. It's still going. Oh, ho, ho, ho. that sustained bass in the background. Oh. Ho, ho, ho. Okay. Again. That's really sick. There's not a lot of scone on the intro. It kind of goes straight into that drop, but it flows so well. I love the beat to it. I love the atmosphere. Again, it's one of those tracks on paper, which I shouldn't really like, but I really do. Oh, it's just so boppy. Oh, oh my God, it's so nutty. What the? Oh, 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 oh. oh my god, the sounds! So vibey, man. I, yeah, it's not over, I forgot. You got that more sustained bass in this end of the drop. This one's spicy. I like that one. I really, really, I don't know why I paused that. I really, really like that one. It's not much going on in the intro and outro. It's literally just a drop throughout the whole track, but it's really nice. You got change up after change up after change up. This one for me, even though it wasn't mad change up on a second drop, um, I didn't really mind it because I really like all the change ups in the first drop anyway. If it was just the same noise, I would have liked a bit more change up, but for this one, literally in the drop, you got change up after change up after change up, and it keeps the track feeling fresh. That's one I'm actually gonna add to my main playlist. I really, really like that one. It flows really well, it's very vibey, it's just really good and some of the sounds in it are great not much bad to say on that one maybe i could wish it was a bit more of an intro or outro but that's really if i'm looking for faults apart from that it's a really nice vibey flowy song again not one i should really like on paper but i really love that one some of the sounds in it are great go to the next track of the ep titled cockney cartel i love the title this might be that bass house just type of one i heard because this is already sounding a beat I'm loving this one so far. Ooh. Ooh. Whoa, whoa. Oh my days! It literally is like a rhythm bass out track. That's genius! Oh my fucking face! <laughs> Samples are so gas! This is so vibey! It's nasty. I what's still going on? Okay, that is so vibey, man. I love the upbeat tones in this one. Having that house approach. Really, literally is like a rhythm bass house track. It's genius. I've never quite heard anything like it. And I love it for that. I love all the samples throughout. It's such a vibey atmosphere. Sorry for the second drop. This bit. It's got such a sick vibe. Oh. Track. That's another one I'm gonna be adding to my main playlist. It's so boppy, it's so vibey. I love the upbeat tone to it. It's really, really nice. Maybe it would have been nice to have a bit more variation on the second end of the drop. We did have certain bits, but it is one of those fun, upbeat, unique tracks from him anyway. So I do like it for that. Even though it has that really fun house vibe for And house isn't one of the genres which is known for having so much going on at once. Because Murder's added his own rhythm influence to this one, maybe it would have been cool to see just a little more, a little bit more going on. I feel like a certain bit, as much as I love the boppy vibe and the atmosphere to it, I feel like sometimes it's a little bit empty at times. It could have been a bit more layers or something. But again, I'm no producer, so I'm not trying to say anything like that. I'm just saying it from my point of view. I really do like the track anyway, and I will be adding it to my playlist, but at certain times, it just feels a little bit lackluster when it goes on for a bit too long. I feel like there could have been a few more layers in that. But the sound design is really nice. I wasn't expecting anything less from Murder. I love the upbeat house type of feel to that one. It's a very unique sounding track, and I really do like it for that. I think the best way of putting it is that it's a very unique bass house track. It's not the most unique rhythm track. That might might not make any sense, but we're gonna go to the last track of the EP titled Croaks. This one's just started and I love the sound in this one. Again, the very spooky vibe. I do not know how this one's gonna drop. 
I hope it keeps its very sporadic sound. What the? This one is heavy. Oh. oh my god, this bit is nuts. There's like a sustained bass in the background, I think. I wish that was louder, because that's really nice. It's noise in the background. Like it's so eerie. Wow. That's Wow, this sounds really cool. This is a very, very cool track. Literally, I'm staring at this cover. Listen to this track and stare at the cover art. It almost moves. This whole atmosphere created in this track is amazing. Like, legit. This just, I can't explain. It sounds so eerie and spooky. I could just do a track with this atmosphere for the whole time. Oh. This bit, the sounds are so sporadic, but that sustained bass, I wish it was louder man, I love that. Okay, this track is just bonkers, like there's so much going on. The atmosphere created in this one is amazing. One thing I'm really impressed about on this whole EP is the atmosphere is murders created in the track. The Titan and Croaks especially. Morse code, I can see why it's called Morse code, but there wasn't much time to build an atmosphere. Cockney Cartel, that kind of has its own atmosphere. That London gang type of atmosphere, the upbeat, the Cockney Cartel. I love the title for that one, but this one is just unbelievable. This outro, it's so eerie and spooky. I actually adore the sounds that Murder's created in this one. Just so spooky. It's such a sick atmosphere. I'm really, really impressed. More so than the drop on the intros and the build and the outro in this one. It's so damn spooky. I can't explain it. And it's such a good outro to this EP. Murder's got a lot of sounds in this one jumbled up. It's a really good showcase of his work, to be honest. And especially that eeriness. Like, that is such a cool vibe. This is four tracks from a rhythm EP, which I've liked. Like, there wasn't any that felt boring to me. Some on certain times weren't as exciting as previous times, if that makes sense. But all in all, it's a really, really good EP, honestly. And I, I wasn't expecting to like it this much. It definitely does have its faults. The sound design in it is great. I wasn't expecting anything less from Murder, to be honest, but it's really, really good. Cockney Cartel, a very nice, unique, fresh sounding track. At certain times, it does feel a bit lacklustre, but at other certain times, it's really exciting. It, it's a very confusing one to explain how I felt on that one. Croaks, I just love the whole vibe to it. The drops itself, they were pretty solid. There's some really nice sounds in it. I love some of the sound design. I wish that sustained bass in the background was louder, because I love that high pitch. That, that's sick. I just wish it was kind of more in the forefront of the track. And I guess it probably would have people complaining that they didn't like the sustained bass. So it's one of those things which is going to be hit or miss for everyone. Titan, again, a very cool atmosphere created. It's probably actually my least favorite from the EP. I like the other three a lot more, but it's still a good solid track. I like some of the drops in it. Wish there was a bit more on the second drop. Morse code. I love all the variations throughout the drop. It's always fun. It's always interesting. Not much of an intro and outro, but apart from that, it's a very just solid rhythm track. There's not much atmosphere created, like I said. Not much love or feeling in the track. To me but it's still a solid track to listen to so yeah all in all pleasantly surprised with that ep i did definitely enjoy it a lot more than i thought i would and i'm happy for that i'm going to give it a 7 out of 10 i really feel like this is a really good collection of work from murder i will definitely need to check out his older stuff like the older older stuff which i haven't heard because i haven't heard everything from him i've heard certain things here and there but not everything but this is a solid ep his return on disciple roundtable it's got some really really good tracks it's really fun it's exciting for some bits feel some sometimes feeling a little bit lackluster and some tracks not having the most exciting vibe but apart from that it's a solid solid EP thank you guys so much for watching as always if you're new around here then please do leave a like and subscribe I do videos like this all the time again remember I have some exclusive content on the gram 
and Twitter. So follow me on those and you can join our Discord in the description down below. My playlist is also down there and Murder Socials alongside Disciple Roundtables. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, thank you for all the love and support and all of that. Blah, blah, blah. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.